Alright guys, <clears throat> let us conclude the first half of the zodiac today with the second earth sign. Alright, so, Virgo. I have a lot of ideas on Virgo. <sighs> my muddled, airy mind, oh, I'm a Capricorn, but my muddled Gemini moon, Aquarius rising mind, is unable to organize them, so I'm just going to ramble on. I'm good at that. I'm really good at rambling. Alright, so when you think about Virgo, I'll just do the main thing that I like to do by comparing opposite signs and the signs next to them. But first, let's talk about how Virgo is the Virgin. So, Virgo symbolizes the Virgin. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions with Virgo. I don't, I don't think people really understand because they don't study astrology or the signs next to Virgo. And you really ha kind of have to do that. Virgo is also the most barren sign. Earth signs are supposed to be more emotional. I would say Virgo is the least emotionally aware of the earth signs. I know, yeah, Capricorn has more depth, for sure, and can access it. And sure, it doesn't really focus on that aspect. It focuses on the peak, like, the peak of life and the best that it can be. Virgo is more, okay, let me separate myself from emotion so I can focus on this task at hand. But for Virgo being the virgin, I would say it makes sense. Okay, let's first compare the two signs next to Virgo. Leo and Libra. The L signs. So before getting to the B, um, so Leo and Libra are relationship signs. One of them is rom romance and the other one's marriage. So, if you're not romance or marriage, you are basically single. And it's focusing on that. Now, Virgo does rule over the sixth house, which is the house of... Kind of focusing on the details to perfect yourself before entering a relationship. So, I would say Virgo is the sign before puberty. Some people say this is not true because they say Leo is more like a teenager. I still view, like, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, like, children. So then Virgo is, like, starting to realize that they have feelings, starting to have to focus on studying their body. Um, Virgo is all about the physical body, making sure everything is working in its way. Virgo people are really interested in that. Um, they're all really mental, but um, Virgo is ruled by Mercury, so... Gemini is ruled, also ruled by Mercury, so it's all about minutiae, minute, minute, small information, basic information. So Gemini will be the one to kind of explain that in an outward fashion for the most part. Um, but then Virgo is more inward. And, you know, unlike this, here's a depiction of a Leo. Like, laying there. Just being all like, oh yeah, love me. <laughs> Aw, see, he lets me pat his belly. And he's all like, you know, he looks like a lion. Virgo will be... Clean and organized. Oh my god, I know so many Virgos. Okay, Virgo sons. Are the people that are like, oh no, don't look at my house. My room is a rack. Oh, and... It's not so much that they care about what other people think, but they w they know in their head. It's all internal that they have to be perfect or they have to perfect themselves. But it's really humble, I think. Um, I think Virgos are actually really humble. I mean, Virgo Risings. Let's look at the 12th house of Virgo Rising is Leo. So subconsciously, Virgo Risings, they won't admit this. And it's, it's just a, a subconscious thing that's like, oh, I'm so good. I'm so amazing. So in, in the conscious world, they're like, okay, I have to justify that feeling of being feeling amazing. Stop it, kitty. So, I would think... Stop it. Stop it. 